want to give you an idea of how um, how any method that you might use to find information in a hierarchy works. And this is the same whether you're trying to find information inside of a, an outline of a book or on your hard drive or even in a tree. So let me start with the tree example because I think it's, it's possibly the clearest way to look at this. So here's a tree and I want to get out to this leaf right here. And I'm a squirrel at the bottom of the tree here and I have to try and figure out how to tell my other squirrel friends how to get to this leaf because that's where the nut is. There's a little nut hiding behind this leaf. And so I start here at the bottom and of course on the tree that's not the root. The roots are inside the ground but in our language we're going to say that the trunk there, the very bottom part of the tree, is the root. So I start down here at the root and you notice right at the root there's a branch and I can go one way or the other. I say at this root take this branch and maybe I'll name this branch and I'll call it Joe. Take the Joe branch and since this is a this is a tree that all of my squirrel friends know about all of my branches are named so I'm going to say start at the root take the Joe branch follow the Joe branch all the way until you get to the Jack branch then take the Jack branch follow the Jack branch until you get to a fork at the fork take the Phil branch at the Phil branch Take, a, take, the, take straight ahead until you get to the next fork and at the next fork take the Jane branch and then at the Jane branch take the first leaf. I've got you, gotten you to this leaf and we can get you to any of those leaves on this, on this tree in a similar fashion. Just by naming all of the different branches in between the root, in between the beginning and the place that you want to get to. That's the idea of a path. Now let's look at your hard drive. How does your hard drive work? We start at the root and we call that root, let's call it um, on a Windows computer anyway, let's call it C, the C drive. And then we say C colon, that says it's the root, it's the root of that drive, backslash, and then we name all the directories in between the directory, in between that root directory called C colon backslash and the directory you want to go to. C colon backslash, users, Joe, my documents, uh, file one, uh, xyz.jpg. We've gone directory or folder slash folder slash folder slash folder slash folder slash folder. Now another example. Suppose you had a book and that book had no page numbers and you wanted to get someone someplace in that book. How would you do it? You would name all of the headings in between the top line, the, the root, the title page and the place somebody wanted to get. You would say chapter one or let's say part one chapter three, heading one, number three, the third heading one, inside the third heading one, the second heading two, inside the second heading two, paragraph three. Right? And that's exactly the way um, documents, for example, legal documents are numbered. Everything has a number. We say this is section 1.1.2.3. That's another idea of a hierarchical path. The Dewey Decimal System is another idea of a hierarchical path. The final idea of a hierarchical path, and the one that's really the, the one that is going to lead us in the direction we want to go, is specifying a URL. The URL starts with a root. That root is HTTP colon. That says, I'm on the World Wide Web. That's the root. That's the beginning place. And from there, in a hierarchical fashion, we name all of the destinations in between where we, want to, where we are, which is the web, and where we want to be. So we'll say the name of the website. That's the first destination. And in fact, the name of the website is also a little hierarchical thing. All the dots, like uh, iSchool.Washington.edu, that's also a path. That's also a hierarchy. It's a weird kind of reverse hierarchy, but it's a hierarchy nonetheless. And then after that, we start using what? To divide all of the folders, to divide all the places that are destinations on the way to the file that we want. We use forward slashes. Windows file, file, the Windows file system uses backslashes to divide all of the different segments, to divide all the different turns, you might say. The URL uses a forward slash. The, the web really was a Unix invention, and Unix and Windows, for some reason, I don't know why Microsoft decided that they were going to use different characters in some cases than Unix uses. Microsoft decided it was going to use backslashes, so to, to divide folders on your hard drive, we use backslashes. And the people who invented the web decided they were going to follow the Unix model and use forward slashes. And so we have forward slashes delimiting all of the different segments on the way. 
in the Dewey Decimal System, we use periods. In, uh, in that numbering system, the document numbering system I gave you before, we use periods. And in the tree example that I gave you at the first, in, in the first instance, we use commas, let's say, or we use just English sentences. Take at this corner, take this turn, right? Each one of those at this corner or at this junction, take this turn, that's also a delimiter. So the delimiter that we're going to focus on is that forward slash because that's the delimiter that we're going to use in the hierarchical, um, in the hierarchical pathing system that we're going to study, which is XPath.